Sorry, friends. Hey, what's up, everybody, you fellow YouTubers? All right, so <clears throat> I'm still on this creation versus evolution debate. I just said evolution. Well, evolution. Um, and I got asked a question, and uh, here's my answer. Okay. I'm gonna make a YouTube video for this. This is pretty good. Um, why I don't believe that we come from apes? Why I believe in creationism? Okay. Um, it's because as a zygote, which is when the egg is fertilized, okay, you become a blastocyst which turns into an embryo, which turns into a fetus and a baby. That's why I'm pro-life. Um, you have all 46 chromosomes, okay? Um, and, you know, that's basically everything you need for your DNA, your chemical makeup, all that stuff. Because humans, all we are is a bunch of chemicals. Um, now, they say that a chromosome fused together and instead of you know an ape having 48 chrom or 6 chromosomes it has 48 and we have 46 now there's the telomere and there's a centromere okay it's only one centromere on a um, on a chromosome can be active now they have proven that at that the two, if the chromosomes did come together like this, and that the tel, that the one telomere and one of the, I guess um, the two telomeres like they combined, and the one centromere is now like deactivated and they've proven all that stuff. So that's that's perfectly fine. I don't I don't. Uh, that's not where I have a problem at. Where I have a problem at is this, and. This is the question that would convert me. Um, most creationists will ask you, ask you like where we get our morals and stuff like that. I think morals can sort of be a, a sociology issue. Um, that's just my opinion on it. But what I want to know is this: is if we came from apes, you know, uh, yeah, we do share a lot of commonalities with them. That's right. I mean, I'm a psychology student. We do share like bonding and stuff like that with them but what people don't know is like if you have a newborn you know just like it looks like an animal why do you think it's better when it's newborn and you, and you have it rather than when you get it when it's an adult the reason why that is is because as a newborn you know this can happen with humans too they um you are like for humans that are raised in the wild and stuff you can actually, you know, bond with like wolves and all that stuff. Now, the thing about it is, is that that also can happen too. Um, so, as a baby, you know, if you grow up with animals or or something like that, you can get your your nurturing from an animal. An animal can get theirs from you too. What I want to know is, if we came from apes, now supposedly according to Dawkins. <laughs> the severely delusioned man <laughs> he says that we have um that we've come from a, a set of apes to extinct now well what I want to know is is where do our behaviors come from where do our inhibitors come from so there's a whole front section right here of your brain this is where like your inhibitors are when you think you're going to do something, you want to fight somebody or something, and then you decide to stop. Because it's coming from this part of the brain. This part of the brain right here, the whole front part, is where your inhibitors are that tell you not to do things, okay? So, if along the course of the time we have developed from apes, or, you know, chimps or whatever. No one ever says we developed from chimps, but you know what I mean. From apes. Monkeys, whatever. Why do you even today why do they, do they still not have that ability to do that let me know what you think sub above write and comment below